another sunrise fishing trip. Today, we are in the swamps. And man, that glare is crazy. So, I'm gonna keep this short. Today, I'm gonna be challenging a, not a YouTuber. It's first aid fishing, let's go. All right, we got the legendary fun guy, first aid fishing, right here, Mike. Dude, 1v1, snakehead, the heaviest, two hours. Wanna do it? Let's go, dude. All right, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> All right, let's go. So yeah, guys, I haven't fished with Mike for quite some time. I fished with him maybe last year, but you know, since uh, being daddy, well, I don't sleep much, I don't remember much. So you guys tell me in the comments below if you watch any of our videos, but uh, the last time we fished, I believe it was Snakeheads too. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And um, you know, I already gave him the methods that I'll be fishing, cause uh, you know, I'm always, always, Sharing knowledge, right? And right now, it's very, very bright. It's gonna be bluebird skies, and it is spawning season. So there's two things you could do. First thing in the morning is fish the edge very quick, right? We're gonna cover a lot of water and see who catches the biggest fish. And then we also always gotta keep our eyes out for pods. You know, when they're spawning, the parents could be aggressive. And then lastly, if that doesn't work, well, we gotta fish pretty deep, thick stuff with, you know, frogs, my favorite thing. So let's go. All right, folks, the first thing I'm gonna throw is the jackal. They're firecracker, fireworks, firecracker, firecracker. Okay, this is crazy buzz bait. I only used it one time so far. Haven't caught anything because it was pretty mucky the last place I went, so I swapped out very quick. But you can see this blade right here, it's like it's already damaged up because it's like counter spinning with the two blades. It's very loud, so I'm hoping I'll draw some bites this morning, like right now. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up, paddle. I mean, there's fish everywhere. You can see there's fish here, fish there, but uh, some of them are turtles, so don't get, get, don't get fooled. But my goal is to get mainly the fish and the edges, and um, I'm looking for snakes, like pods. That's my goal first, pods. One cool thing about fishing, using buzz bait, and when there's no wind like this, I'm basically, Using the buzz bait to pull me around the swamp. Like I'm non-stop casting and you know, it's, it's reeling in and that's really it. Makes life easy. Hoping that some of these coves might hold some fish. I haven't been here for so long. I, I don't think I've been here on a kayak in this specific area for a year since having a baby. So everything looks a little bit different. I see Mikey's going over there and um, yeah, he's already heading to the good spot. He got some good memories. All right, folks, so I haven't seen much action open water, but I do see some action in like thick stuff. So I'm gonna switch to the frog. I got the Frog King Jr. in rainbow. You guys can get this at American Snake at Custom. Use raw fishing for a discount because uh, Jimbo is not selling them at the meantime. So um, get yours at American Snake at Customs. So I'm just gonna stand and uh, yeah, it's gonna work these stuff because right now I don't see much action. And frogs are nice because you could do, you know, do a lot of things with frogs. You can fish it fast, you can fish it slow, you keep it, you know, in a spot. And uh, right now, I'm just desperate for one snake. It doesn't have to be a giant, but you know, you never know. There could be a giant in here. It looks pretty tasty. Shrek of me, just chilling right in here. I know it. I haven't seen any babies out here, so likely there could be like, in a gunk. So I gotta figure out where they're at and uh, hopefully we'll land something big soon. It's been, oh, I don't know, half an hour. None of us had anything. It's tough, very, very tough. I need to go in there. Did you guys see that? I think it was huge, huge, humongous. Whoa, 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 okay. I don't know if that's a, Fry ball, it might be fry ball. Let's see some stuff moving. Found first snake, fireball, fireball. 
first snake right here. Yeah! Woo. Not big at all, but first one on the boat. First one on the boat. Look at this beautiful guy. Small guy, there's a bigger one over there. I'm not even gonna weigh this. I'm gonna say it's like a one pounder, because, you know, it's approximately a pound. Let me get it situated and go for the mama. So apparently that was a fry ball. What you saw earlier was uh, there's a bunch of bait fish sitting right here where the sun is beating at. The wind's kind of blowing into this cove and it was just one little snake right there just feeding up. So, um, yep, I guess back for the hunt. The water is definitely slow here, which is nice. I was hearing and seeing a bunch of stuff and I had two plates around here. All right, let's work hard. Let's work hard. I see bugs, so it's a good start. Oh. Thrashing. All right, let's get. <laughs> This is a little longer than the first guy I got. Looks really, really nice. Love the golden pattern. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not gonna weigh this guy because it's just too small, but I'm gonna lift it up. Oh, oh, that's death row for a little bit. Show my boy. That's a pretty one. Yeah, I love these colors. Yeah, it's so cool. Now he's just tangled up. Anyway, let me fix this little guy. Dude, the fireball right here is so, so small, like red little guys. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a lot of them? yeah. I don't see a parent at all though. I've been casting, casting, and casting, and I haven't got a strike yet. Oh yeah, look at the babies. Woo! Baby snakies. I'm gonna stay here looking for the parent, but I haven't seen the parent at all. Sometimes you put your paddle in like this, right? The snakehead will strike your paddle. I've done it a couple times before, it's pretty cool. But that's an interesting fry ball. No parent whatsoever. Oh, got him. Another small guy. Yeah, but these are the small guys just lurking on the side. Look at this guy. Woo. Anyways, all right. I'm hearing stuff over there jump. Time to uh, hydrate up a little bit. Mm. Soda. Not my thing, but um, you know, sometimes I like to try new things. There's some uh, movements here. Just taking the time, rehydrate, get some sugar in me. Quick tip for you guys. When you guys are fishing the swamps and things look bleak, right? What you guys want to look for are those spots where there's a lot of bugs flying. Snakeheads love looking for bugs, okay? And uh, yeah, and when they're looking for bugs, they're basically looking up. So when they're looking up, top water frogs are your best bet. I see a lot of stuff right here right now. So I'm gonna go around and see if I gotta, you know, entice some snakes to bite my frog. The rainbow frog, that is. Ah, this sucks. That's one of those wraps that's... Uh, ay, ay, ay. Seriously, this is never get off. Oh. 
Got another one. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Ugh. All right, game over. I win. Oy. A three pounder likely, but uh, given that Mike have not caught one yet, I think uh, this might be it. Look at that. Anyway, let me weigh it. Let me get a scale. All right, open up, open up shot. Uh, all right, ready? Let's take a look. Really? Did you really shut off? All right, let's take a look. 3.65 minus 12 grams, all right? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Whoops, I wasn't recording, but as you see, I got a little dinky dink. Small snakehead of the day. Such a winner. I mean, this should be a, a good pet size snakehead. What do you guys say? Oh, wait. Whoa, look at his freaking fin. He's like a Nemo. Look at that. Uh, anyways, hope you become a monster. To the lose. All right, I have entered the promised lands this is this is by far the most swampy location ever i just saw something right there yeah he's popping there's snakehead right there oh bro where are you there's, there's a big snake here. Huge. Oh, I'll catch it. I was helping you put on your battery and come over. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh God. <laughs> Dude, if I did not duck, that would hit my sunglasses. Oh, geez. That's crazy. It got me right in my freaking head. Got him. Oh, whoa. This might be a Mondo. I can't even get him through, but the splashes are crazy. Dude, my kayak's moving. Nothing's not moving. Please do not get out. Please do not get out. Dude, this is a Mondo. We're, we're in stalemate. We're at stalemate. Varivis line, Avani. 70 pounds. Thin, but 70 pounds. Oh my gosh, I think I got caught up in this thing right here. I don't know if he's still in there. All right, I'm gonna leave this here for a second. I'm forcing my way through. I think I see him just chilling right here. He might be like right there. Is that him? Boom! <sighs> okay. All right, he's not too big, but he's big. Big enough for a lot of mud on a kayak. Five pounder, maybe? Yeah, my tire is so, so filthy. Ooh, filthy, filthy animal, you. Oy. Oh, I got all of my freaking pants and everything. Woo. But there he goes. Oh yeah, this guy's definitely bigger than the other one. Let's weigh it. 5.2-ish. All right, 5.2-ish. Humongous, woo woo! Pound through the stuff, get some protein. Let's do it. Yeah, I see a lot of ripply stuff, you see it? Yeah. It could be fry ball. My camera's wiped down because sometimes there's mud all over it.
I saw one over to the right too. But I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, that spot looks oh yes! There you go. That, yo, that's a big one! Is it? It's a huge one! Oh my god. Woo! Oh my god. There you go. That is a big one. That is a very big one. I just hope this doesn't come out of its mouth. Chill. Chill, 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 Dude, that was so cool because I was reeling it. I was, I was I was bringing it back in, and then right on the pause, I, I just stopped it, and then that's when it freaking exploded on it. That's a pretty good one. I'm not recording. Is that what it says? No. I wasn't. Double up. That's a smaller one. I'm not gonna even weigh this. <laughs> No, that one is that one, that one's that one. So, yeah, there's two different ones. But I do want to come close so we can put two snakeheads in a, uh, in a bag. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Hold on. Uh, well, I can tell you once we look at the clock, we've been uh, on the water 6.30. Like launched officially around 6.30. It's been a grinding. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was trying to jump out of his net. There's another one back there? Yeah, okay. oh, I don't want, I don't care about mine. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna weigh yours. I think you might have a six pounder. I don't know, it's too far. I think it looks like a four. Maybe. Four? That's a pretty one right there though. This is a small one, so I'm not gonna wear it like I said, but see, the other one. You see that one has such a cooler pattern on it. Yeah, it looks small. Dark. Yeah. All right, ready? I'll tell you how much it weighs. <laughs> I gotta stand up a little bit. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely the female. Look at that belly. Oh, it's not even that long compared to the other one. But, um, <laughs> no, it's a 5.04. Oh, it is? So, yeah, it's five a fiver. Pounder. Five pounder. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, it's a little lighter than mine. Honestly, if these things are going to get across America at some point, you think snakeheads will? I mean, they're, they're all over the East Coast. A, a lot of people don't know, but Arkansas got a lot. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they have a huge forest system. And, oh, oh. Uh, oh that's a good one. Eh, it's not too bad. It's coming towards this way. It's coming towards this way. But yeah, they used to farm raise over there. Oh, it's actually a pretty good one. All right, it's, it's, it's a Mondo. It's a Mondo. Huge head, huge head alert, huge head alert. Huge head alert. Dude, that's at least a stick. Oh, look at that. That's it's skinny. I think there's fries right there. Whew. All right, well, um, let me back up and try to weigh it, but give it a shot, cast it in there while I situate myself in a way this guy the head right here is huge but it gets skinny a little bit so i know it's been spawning it's been doing something so that's why i was like you gotta cast right back into the same spot where i hooked it because potentially it's there i lost a giant my biggest bowfin was caught well hooked here and it popped off so it sucks all right anyways let's see Ow! Yeah, but he hurt me. The weight? Um, oh, he's still here. It's cool. Um, it got to like 4.93 and it came came off. So I can't tell, but it looks huge. Like the, the head is huge. I gotta say it's at least a five, but I don't think it's gonna beat my first one. Come on, open up your mouth again. Open up shop. All right, one more time. One more time. 5.1, oh no, it's actually, it is beating my other one. 5.26, the other one was 5.2, uh, 
two, two. So just a little bit uh, heavier. All right, I upgraded guys, 5.26. All right guys, it's uh, more than two hours, obviously, because uh, after two hours, the first two hours, no bites. It was, it was terrible. So uh, we were like, you know what? We'll, we'll just fish one day, one episode, and just do our best, right? And uh, I think after nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, right? It started to get some bites and once it hit noon, Mike finally got his one fish and I got my fish. We were like right next to him, it was like a double up was great. But uh, uh, I got the biggest fish, it was like 5.26. So yay. Anyways, let's see Mike. Let's hear about Mike, uh, <laughs> his experience. How was today? Dude, it was, it was a day. Uh, it was just a beautiful Kodak moment. We both hooked up. Yeah, you know, mine was a little bit bigger, but in the end, <laughs> dude, really, <laughs> <laughs> in the end, this dude freaking smoked me. I, I got some bites, but it was just very tough. Um, yeah, man, it's good to get out here on the swamp, though. Said hi to Shrek, and I'm freaking tired. It's been sunny, dude. We went through some scenic routes, man. We had some bromance and everything, yeah. so it's it's cool, man. Big we, birds, big lily pads, mm -hmm, nice, mm -hmm. nice. So, but yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm gonna call it. It's 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 hot. It's very hot and the summer's gonna get a little hotter. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see me do more snakehead swap fishing, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions on how to catch some snakeheads during this hot, hot season, let me know in the comments below. I might make a video for you guys if you guys are interested. Anyway, the fish no weight, tight lines, 